and I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, uh, and today I have the rather unique privilege of being able to answer a question from someone older than myself. Uh, the famed theologian Karl Barth uh, wants to know that given that cleanliness is next to godliness, uh, might it be considered blasphemous to be too clean? Uh, now, as a writer, I have a firm appreciation of, of all maxims and proverbs, but I must confess that I've always had trouble with this particular expression. In my amateur theological studies, I've come across many stories of different gods throughout the age, and none of them struck me as particularly tidy. We need not get into the specifics of the various stories of Nordic, Egyptians, or Greek divinities, but needless to say, they did not limit themselves to strictly antiseptic behavior. And then there's the biblical account. We see uh, right at the beginning, uh, God touches his lips to clay and suscitates life into man. Or, or the various accounts of, of healing, where people will or wash away infections through muddy rivers, or uh, apply mixtures of dust and expectoration to the infirm's eyes. While, uh, personally, I think it behooves one to maintain a rather vigorous schedule of hygiene, uh, if for no other reason than societal and self-respect, Theologically speaking, have at it. Uh, hopefully, that helps. As always, I'm... Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, this being Friday, uh, later this afternoon, I will be being interviewed. Uh, apparently, it is a live streaming web chat at lovecraftzine.com. I have been assured that everything I have just said makes sense and is in no way illegal. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.